Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and we're gonna be looking at collections, also breaking down a guide on collections. That way you can take a look. Now overall with the build in this, I've went through and I've actually had to make a lot of additional collections because a lot of these modes are run, multiple heroes are run with different collections depending where you're at. But this one, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna break it down very, very basic answering simple questions and keeping it easy, even looking in here at the expiration buffs and kind of how this works, how you can get the plus one and the plus two items out of there, and also looking at the wish list. So within the Mythic Cage, this is really looking at a couple different things that you wanna build. Number one, Miracle Worker. That is the first one you wanna to add to your wish list, followed by the level. Now these two are probably the absolute most important when it comes to building out your collections themselves, because they will actually give you the ability to add additional levels on there for a considerable amount of the collections. They work well at a higher level. Now, I also do have this one in here and this one. This is the physical pierce. This is the magical pierce. Now, you have to be careful with this one, which we'll look at over on the guide, because essentially they can take place of a plus one LV. Um, depending on the build. And again, it, it's really dependent on who you're building and how you're building out these collections themselves that we have in here. Now, in addition, like I was saying with the expiration buff, there's a way to ensure that you get a plus two collection in here. There's also a way if you're adding additional cards that you can kind of go ahead and build these out. Now, in addition, as you're getting further into AFK Arena, there's level one, level two, and level three. When it comes to the exploration buffs, which again, we're gonna go ahead and break these down. So let's hop over. We'll take a look at the guide and break out this ghoulish gallery. All right guys, so here it is, a visual guide to the totems usage. A big shout out to Adventure Run, which we know is my current guild. We did absolutely amazing in the Abyssal Expedition and Alpatex for putting these together visually, absolutely amazing. And I know a lot of people, when I do explanations through AFK Arena, might not get the full gist of it. Having the visual guide makes it a lot easier. So general advice, rush before you start etching your important collection. So as you can see right here, this is what we are talking about, the etching. You have the 20, you have the 40, and you have the 80. So that is actually level one, level two, and level three based on the usage. The 20 is free to play. So again, using a lot of the totems and using them very, very cautiously and very well planned out. Plus 40 is for the light spenders, 80 is for the whales. As you know, this is a light spender account. For the YouTube account, we put 100 and stay right around there every single month. So for the light spenders, we're just north of 50, or just north of 40, but we're not quite to 80 at this point. Still have a lot more for this usage to get. Now, essentially at stage one, once you hit that 20, if you use a um if you use a legendary totem, you will be guaranteed one mythic ability. At 40, if you use two of your mythic totems, you're guaranteed two of those mythic abilities. At 80, if you use three mythic totems, so using the max that you can, you will actually get three additional abilities or ensure that you're gonna pull at least three mythic abilities. So using your scrolls, planning accordingly on good runs, focused runs, and also the plus two runs. This is the reason why I specifically built out the collections that I did and how you've seen me building them out for very specific heroes. We are first, we were looking for Liberta. We were looking for the Awakened version of Belinda. We went through here and went on good focused runs is what we were looking. Now the scrolls of course are single use. When you use a scroll, it is completely gone, but you can take a very good collection to an absolutely great, amazing collection by the utilization of these scrolls or if you do have a lot of RNG with some good runs, you can go ahead and add them. And then of course, when you're looking at the plus two runs, so when you wanna get that collection up to a plus two, you wanna make sure that again, you're kind of planning accordingly. Now this notes, merge your blues, except as many as necessary for zero luck runs. So merging all of your blues will of course give you the purples. Um, you wanna get to the point of having more of the mythics, that, that's one of the big things, or excuse me, the legendary totems. Um, you wanna try to get to the point of getting those legendary totems. Now, ex, um, right here, merge these purples if you're spending, otherwise these can be the fillers. Now we have had some very, very good solid runs with the purple fillers in here. When you're going through, again, it can, it can work out pretty well with some RNG, does take a long time, and again, you're going to start kind of with a baseline set of collections 
as you continue going through here and as you're doing your six runs every single week, you're going to get more collections over time, meaning that the stronger collections are gonna be built over time, especially because of the 20, 40, 80, as you're putting and utilizing the legendary totems that we have in here. Now, of course, again, merging the blues to the purples, if we're spending the purples are going to our legendary. Warning, don't use these totems. Don't use these with these. That is right. If you want to attempt at a plus two run, as they can be replaced with a plus one skill. So right here, this is the ERR. This is the energy recovery. And I believe this might be the crit. Again, kind of drawing it from memory, but I believe that one might be the crit. So again, if you're running legendary totems and if you're at a 20, so you're at that basic level one, running both of these together is going to ensure you 100% that you're going to get the second slot. So anytime that you're looking for a plus two collection, you have to run Miracle Worker. This is the Miracle Worker right here. 100% has to be run or you will not have the ability, even if you get four of these plus one skills or four of these level ups, doesn't make a difference. You do not possess the second open slot that is given through the Miracle Worker legendary totem. Now, of course, if you're going in here, really running these two together are imperative because at a very bare minimum, not only are you gonna open that second slot to get the plus two, but you're guaranteed at least a level one, which means that you could go ahead and get some extra slots in there. It's gonna give you the one extra slot, but you're only guaranteed a level one. Now, when we're done with this, I'm gonna show you how you can guarantee a plus two run. It is no longer so much of an attempt because of the cards that we have, and I'll go ahead and break that down. Now, of course, when it comes to energy recovery rate and crit, they are very specific. Now, the ERR and the crit, you can get through random, through literally random generation or random pulls, you can get it in there, but the probability is much lower than pulling it with the actual totems themselves. So looking at our zero runs, so this, of course, the focus runs, you're looking for use, utilizing this one, plus some of the regular ones that we have in here, and then, of course, the ones down here. So this is the focus runs where you're running it for specific heroes. For instance, I just ran a Zolrath one, and I did run this one right here, which, of course, is running for the warrior. So this is specifically to the Zolrath and the second one, which I think is Saurus, um, for the collection. So running Miracle Worker, or this is kind of the purple version of the, the skill up or the level up for these skills you're getting, then running them together, and then of course adding a second one on there. Now overall, these ones adding in the bottom ones, this is going for more of a specific. And honestly, when you're running these through, what you're doing is not only building some collections, but you're also hitting that 20, 40, 80 quota to actually level up. Because if you're running two of these together and you're at a 40, that means you're going to get a guaranteed minimum two mythic skills out of that run just based on what you're looking for. Now, of course, again, the focused runs are going to be class specific. So if you're looking at support, if you're looking at tank, mage, warrior, ranger, these are going to be cl class specific and these are going to be literally run for a specific hero usually because you wanna focus it depending on what they have. Then of course, these ones are kind of the buffer, the energy recovery, the crit, the magic pierce, physical pierce, so on and so forth to really build them out. The lucky runs, you can see totemless or running a couple of these together. Some of them do run with no totems at all. Again, if you're com combining them, but you can see there are a couple different variations to run together and a very specific way to run it together. So if you're looking at the plus run one plus one run, you see here it is Miracle Worker plus the, the LV. So you are guaranteed to get that plus one. That is what this totem specifically does. Guarantees you to get the plus one skill. Miracle Worker, of course, is going to add the extra slot to drop that into. Now in here, you can see we have, again, the Magical Pierce. We have the Physical Pierce, a couple more. Disclaimer, only use LV without this if you are if you're in a pinch, there are essential for the plus two runs. You 100%, again, to build any plus two collection, you have to have Miracle Worker. That is literally the only way that you can get it is going that route if you are using Miracle Worker. 
Now, if literally you're just going for a plus one run, um, even if you did just the level, that would fill a slot without the Miracle Worker. And then, of course, another one of these could yield you a, a lucky run or a good run. Now, lucky run, of course, putting these together with one more chance of getting a plus one, which again is looking to try to add the skill into that slot. This, of course, is the better collections. Now, like I had said, if you're looking for the plus two runs, this is specifically going in for collections that are going to have the plus two skill. So you're actually going to have two skill slots. Now, what happens a lot of times is when we run these together, um, we kind of get stuck because we see more than two skills, which kind of stinks because essentially when they're giving you the, the mythic abilities that you get at the end of the run, some of them are duplicates. I've actually did a run which I was using Miracle Worker with the LV with the level. And I believe at that point I was running um, the physical pierce. And then when I did a pull, I got three in total when it came to the plus skills. So there was one essentially I couldn't use. It was garbage, but it filled the slot or it essentially took the slot of having another, another mythic ability. Using a skill scroll and an attack defense before etching if you need to guarantee the plus two. Um, perk level one activated required for the 2x scroll. Now again, what we're kind of saying here is there is a way to guarantee these plus two runs, which is based on having Miracle Worker, having the level, so actually having this to take it up one level. And then the combination is the utilization of the cards, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, the cards are not in here. So let's hop over and I'm gonna show you how to kind of break that out with the cards themselves. So let's go ahead and hop over. All right, so back here, this is what we're talking about, the expiration buff. So again, looking at your 20, your 40, and your six, or your 80 with the utilization in here. Now, the custom attack scroll, of course, allows you to choose a mythic ability based on the attack scroll. The defensive does the exact same except for the defense and the one right here which is your custom skill scroll means that you can 100% guarantee you will get a plus two collection which is huge if you're going for the plus two collection. So the good thing is if we're going in here and let's say we use Miracle Worker and let's say I do have one of these level ups so that essentially is going to guarantee a level one. Now what you can do is sit with this custom skill scroll in your back pocket, just having one owned. If you do your entire run and by chance you do not pull a second skill, uh, the, the plus one skill, you don't pull the second one in there, you can actually go in there, utilize the card, still get that second skill in there that you were looking for. This eliminates the RNG aspect, meaning that if you're looking to build a collection, you can guarantee through the utilization of totems, with the Miracle Worker and the plus skill and the custom skill scroll to guarantee you 100% that you're going to pull one of the, or pull essentially two skill slots to build them out. Now I do have one that I built, which I'm not sure, I think it might be on Liberta, but there is one that I did build out that was very, very strong. Um, that again, I got kind of lucky on, which was, was it a plus four? Maybe it was a mage one that I got, but overall, again, getting the skill level, getting a multiple skill levels in here, which I'm thinking it might've been on the mage side that we got it, and there it is. So this is the way that I double and essentially ensured that I got my two skills was I used, again, the Miracle Worker in combination with our level up, our plus one skill. I used my skill card in there to guarantee that I got the plus two captive wings in here. And then I did pull the rest of these, which were RNG. So we got a big magical pierce in there, a full buffer and HP and a Rosen and a crit damage amplification. So overall, we did pull six mythic abilities for this collection, which was awesome to see. Of course, proved absolutely vital when it came to running the Abyssal Expedition because this can make a big difference with this plus three skill. When the holder takes a single instance of damage that exceeds 15% of the health, they sacrifice a minion to mitigate that damage. When we started scaling with the bosses in the Abyssal Expedition, this plus two was vital to keep everyone alive. 
because essentially, remember, Damia can keep them alive. Then you couple on that skill and it keeps them alive as well. Sorry guys, I hope it does some clarification when it comes to really building them out, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.